Oh, wait. You got it. Go, go, go. Oh, that is strong. And boom. Does everybody have eye protection? <laughs> I recommend it. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to Shift Fire and Expiration and Appreciation for Military Culture. My name is Cameron Fath and with me is my good Green Beret buddy, Israel Wright. Tell them what we're here to do today, Israel. Today folks, we're bringing you an episode of War Wallet. We're exploring different kinds of equipment, different calibers of equipment, different levels of equipment from the cheap to the expensive to see which one works better in the field. Before we dive in, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up with the latest and greatest from Shift fire. Today on War Wallet, we are exploring bolt, bolt cutters. cutters. Breaching tool, mechanical breaching tool we use in the military, but also some practical applications out in the civilian world, like when your kid forgets the key to his bike lock. But uh, what about the military? We'll use these for mechanical breaching, getting into houses, getting into fences, anything that needs a lock broken quietly or decently quietly, that's what we're gonna use these for. We have the budget bolt cutters in our hands right now. I have the 18 inch cutters, $20 at your local hardware store, and Israel's got the 24 inch cutters, which should be around $30. We got a couple materials that we're gonna throw at these bad boys. So uh, let's waste no time and cut right to it. Let's see what you did there. Did you? All right, folks. So we brought a couple different materials to see what we can throw at these bolt cutters. We got them inside our rucks. Oh, speaking of bike locks. I got a couple standard padlocks. I got this big ass chain. Telescopic, pardon my French. Fishing rod. I got some wire. This is uh, wire, 50 feet of wire rope. Then we got some tin. Wait, I actually have actual bolts to cut. Let's see if they can live up to its name, huh? So with bolt cutters, you're definitely, what the f are those? These are my uh, fighting tools for when I'm a vigilante out on the streets. Are you your Nighthawk? Yeah, I'm Nighthawk. But yeah, bolt cutters, you're definitely gonna have to pick your battles with these because Israel's 24 inch bolt cutters are gonna provide more leverage, so you're gonna be able to cut more of those. Mine are kind of a, uh, trying to bypass a really easy lock on a fence or like a deadbolt chain on a door. That's what I'm gonna utilize these 18 inches for, but those 24 inch ones, those should be able to cut through a little bit of thicker material. So we're gonna find out and we're gonna pick our battles right, and we are gonna win. Speaking of battles. Oh man, I knew you were kinky, but. Yeah, some bedroom battles. <laughs> you're coming with me. Oh no! Oh, oh. we're gonna have to cut that. Wait, where are the now. keys at? Oh, jeez. All right. Okay, so I think it'll make most sense to start small. Okay. I know for a fact these 18 inches are gonna be able to cut through this, right? So one thing about bolt cutters, everybody's just trying to do this and use their muscles, but mechanical breaching is all about utilizing leverage. So one thing I like to do is when I get it on my lock, I'll put it against my plate carrier, and I can row more weight than I can fly, essentially. I'm gonna stand up so, for this? Yeah, man, if you want to. So he's gonna go in there, I'm gonna take this, and I'm just gonna pull it towards myself, and boom. Nails, no problem, 18 inch bolt cutters. Nice, really quick. Super quick. So these things work great. Let me try one with just Absolutely. my hands, because I think the average person would not have the foresight to bring a plate carrier with them. Oh, man. That is very hard for just your hands. It is, you really do have to. Yep. Does everybody have eye protection? <laughs> I would recommend it. Let me try one more on the ground. Can I try okay, one more yeah. on the ground? That <laughs> is coming close to my That one went, I felt the wind from it. Okay, nails, no problem for our budget 18 inch bolt cutters. Let's upgrade here and we're gonna try to cut, yeah, we'll use these 24 inchers. He's, I'm sure you have no experience with any of these, kids. No, I've never been in handcuffs before. Well, how did I do that so Neither fast? Neither have I. Hey man, can you loosen these up? <laughs> I think I can help you out with that, sir. All right. It's gonna go right for the link. Right go where right the link where is. the, see where that little notch yep. is? So give it a, wow. Wow, like nothing. No problem like for butter. the 24 inches. Like butter. Like butter. Handcuffs, not a problem for these cheap bolt cutters. I think th you're right. The bigger we go, the more leverage we have. Absolutely. And it makes it super easy. This giant ass bolt cutters I'm bringing on target with me. Yeah, you take it it's away. Where, where am I gonna put them? Gonna... Where am I gonna put them? So that's why the 18 inch are a little bit more compact. Probably not in your pants. <laughs> But all right, let's go over to the next one, crazy. So we got a padlock here. The only thing that you have to pay attention to, there is a specific side of the lock you have to cut. Because if you don't cut the side that moves, then you have to cut the other side. So uh, that's true. It's kind what, of can very. Can you tell it's all locked up? Can you tell which one? When it's locked up, you can't tell. You pretty much find out when you cut it when it doesn't move around. But let's see if these 18 inches can do the job. So I'm just gonna ask you to hold these for me right. while I put them in position. All right, we're gonna see if these 18 inches can take out this padlock. Oh. Like fuck nothing. Like nothing. And I cut the right side. There we go. Let's do a challenge now. All right. Let's see something that I'm like, I'm not so sure this will work. Let's try this button. 
Because I don't even think the thickness of this thing. You don't think we can get think, it wide enough? Oh, you know, maybe. I think they can fit can. in. There you go, there you go, there you go. You oh, got it! Man. Oh! Dude, oh, that's this rough. Challenging, huh? I'm giving effort, folks. Don't think that I'm trying to sandbag on this. Oh, you got it to crack. Oh, man. Oh, but they're kind of slip. Oh, they're kind of slipping off. Okay, this thing's tough. The thicker the material, the harder it's going to be cut. You know, let me give it a try. Maybe you're just mm -hmm. weak. Maybe I'm, I'm, maybe I'm just a fat body. Oh, and there your cutters oh, go. Oh, they just went. Yeah, these cutters warped on that thing. If you want to take a look there. The teeth are a little bit offset. It's going to go ahead and warp your steel. So that's where you're going to get your budget. Bolt cutters, it's not going to be tempered steel on the end. It's just going to be steel, so it can be easily warped, especially if you're trying to cut through something that thick. I think we found our limit with our cheap bolt cutters here, but we still have a couple other things, so we know that's going to be the toughest to cut through and probably won't be able to be successful with these. What about this chain right here? I am confident that I can use my 18 inches. All right. And there is little knocks that you want to go through. If you look at a chain, this is where the welds are. There are little, that's where you want to go? That's where you want to hit. Boom. Give me that bike, son. Now we are free. It's a <laughs> metaphor right there, folks. There you go. Super quiet. We're not shooting a shotgun, breaking off a locking mechanism on a door. We're not explosive breaching. It's just super quiet. If you want to sneak in somewhere undetected, mechanical breaching is going to be your asset. This one's interesting because I've never cut this type of material before. This is kind of braided, braided. wire. Let's find out if the 18 inches can handle this. Oh. Oh, okay. Kind of splintered a little bit. Give it a little twisty. All right, a little more. Almost. Let's see. It's, all, it's hanging on. It's, it's resisting. Hanging on by a thread. See if we can get it. <laughs> Almost. So close. Let's see where There's that is. It's like little two thread. threads left. It's like two threads, but they're One too thread. thin. One thread. Hey, there, there it I is. Go. Okay, so you can. Just takes a little bit of finessing, but you can definitely do it. Now let's wait. Can we try one with the uh, the standard bike lock? The standard bike lock. I mean, it's it's pretty much the same thing. It's just got a, a rubber yeah. hose around it or exactly. a ru rubber. I think if we can get through that. So let's find out. And one thing also, the reason why these are budget, because my grips are starting to do 360s on me. Oh, so. the grips are just kind of put on there. Yeah, I can probably rip this off. off. There it goes. Oh, okay. Oh, Holy that, Jesus was Christ. The, the, that was even easier than I thought it would be. All right. I didn't even have to do the whole leverage thing. Unintentional discovery. If you're going to lock up your bike, don't use one of these. Yeah. Use one of these. Yeah, right? <laughs> You'll be safe, especially here in Los Angeles. At least against these uh, more uh, low-end, cheaper bolt cutters. We got some tin. Yeah, bolt cutters can definitely if get through If you're trying this. to break into the tin man's house. Exactly. There you go. So apparently he makes a house out of himself. Tin stamps. Oh, we're not getting a lot. I'm not getting You're a lot of bite. It's too thin. Give it a little bit of a, a snap and then a twisty twist. All right, let go. We'll see. Oh, these aren't cutting. I just don't think they bite down far, no. hard enough. This or is far too enough. thin. Tin yeah, man, you thin. are safe. You're safe. You're safe. As long as stealing. you make it out of one level, one exactly. level deep. Well, what if we fold it? Yeah, he man strength. Okay, there you go. They just don't have a. They, they, don't, have, they don't have an edge to them. This is not going to cut. You need some tin snips for yeah, this. Yeah, you need some tin snips. They're actually designed for sheet metal. Yeah. This is specifically designed for actual pretty thick material, like a chain. Yeah, bolt cutters are bolts and chains. Speaking of bolts, we have a big bag of bolts. Open wide. Nom nom nom. Slow, slow, slow. Just put some tension on. All right. See if you can cut that. Simple. Well, easy. It's in the True name. True to their name, folks. True bolt to the name. All right. We got this real big chain bag. Oh, the here. actual pole you need. So in case you gotta lock up your semi truck, you're gonna use this. You can try, but hell, I will think you'll fail. Oh wait, you got it! Go, go, go! Oh man, you're so close. Oh, Actually, geez. let go. How did it? You were pretty it? close. Pretty close. I, it was getting there. It was getting there. Okay. Nice. Here, grab those 24 inches. Oh, these are these were yeah, kind of. They're molded, man. Yeah, they're they're, they're, so. they're kind of off off center now. That ain't gonna bite anything. Yeah, nah, they're just uh, they're just they're canting off now. Yeah, I mean I'm getting full on it. Uh, let's see what that did. I mean almost so close, almost. but we got if they weren't they weren't warped, I think they could cut through this. But there's your point. You get what you pay for, I guess, with bolt cutters. 
All right, Cam, what do you think about the cheap bolt cutters we got here? Well, man, I think for these, you get what you pay for, it, right? Civilian application, basic tasks around the house, these will cut that no problem. Military application, you know, even though I use these overseas, I have a personal connection, I never encountered a problem, but I never tried to cut something that I didn't think these would be able to cut. Now, that tempered steel chain really did a number on these 24-inch bolts, but I think as far as civilian use, man, these are just fine. Spending yeah. 20, 30 bucks versus 300 bucks north of that, you know, I think these will do just fine. What do you think? Yeah, I think uh, for simple jobs around the house, it's good. But if you're going to do any kind of specialized work, anything with uh, harder metals, you might want to go the extra mile and spend the extra money. We have now upgraded to the Bougie Bolt cutters. We have the Blackhawk Dynamic Entry 24-inch bolt cutters with us today nice. with a hefty price tag of $300. This is about as nice as you can get in the civilian world. There are some more expensive versions that uh, maybe civilians don't have access to necessarily, but this is as good as it's going to get out here. You know, Blackhawk is a pretty established company. They've been around for a long time. They're very well known in the firearms community and the tactical gear community. So I'm actually looking forward to see how they have improved the basic bolt cutter design. I mean, first impression, I obviously notice yeah. the grips are sturdy. They're not twisting 360 like the Hardware Hero bolt cutters. There's even this small flat part yeah. which makes it easy to put it on your body to pull that leverage. So those small details, including it even has a thicker little locking bracket here, which I'm gonna assume creates more support for cutting thicker materials. Yeah. So we'll see if the proof is in the small details. One thing that was subtly different as well, it's a 600 millimeter, 24 inch head, but this one says cap 10. I have no idea what that means. So if you guys wanna tell us what that means in the comments, we'd love to hear your input as well. All my bolt cutter experts out there. I love this little touch right here blackhawk dynamic entry nothing shall stand in your way some bold words from blackhawk we're about to find out if those words hold true let's waste no time and let's start cutting some let's get it on all right we'll start with the small stuff now we know that these can cut through but we want to try to look for how much easier it is to cut through the kind of the smaller stuff is there a noticeable difference between the 300 dollars cutters and the 30 dollars cutters because i mean they're both 24 inches they both have 600 millimeter heads but i want to see if there's any specific details that make cutting through this like butter so let's find out oh. simple wrap oh uh-oh Oh, there it goes. It, it certainly destroyed it. It just didn't yeah. bite down, maybe hard, it didn't maybe bite down, deep but enough in. I will say that I felt zero resistance. <laughs> What's next in our pile of metal, <laughs> Israel? Oh, the fishing pole. The telescoping fishing pole. Just in case you're being attacked by an army of fishing poles. <laughs> yep. You know what? I Just because I like destroying things. Okay, let's cut this. Gamer. Oh yeah, my god. Yeah, that fiberglass is like a, yeah. Yeah, like, okay, fiberglass, no problem. <laughs> chewing through uh, soft gum. Yeah, it's like bubble gum. All right, what's next, dude, here? And I'm gonna hand you these because I'm having all the fun here. We got a, what's the easy chain? Small, easy this chain. is a smaller chain that we went through. Your basic chain, you're gonna get at a hardware store, probably what you're gonna see most out there that you're gonna be breaching mechanically. Let's see if it holds true. Let's see if we can hold that gate closed or if we, we break in. There easy. you go. Done. Freedom! All right, how easy was it? I couldn't do the He-Man, but yeah. once we got that leverage in there against the body, it broke pretty easy. Compared to the standard bolt cutters. Compared to the standard bolt cutters, I, you know, for me, maybe I'm just a weak body. About the same. About you the same. You gotta put a little bit of effort into okay. it, you know, but with the leverage, it makes it happen. Okay, know? so as we go up in the material strength, I'm hoping we start to notice a very distinct difference. So yeah. let's see, what's next, man? Sheet metal, it was, uh, we couldn't quite, we didn't, couldn't quite get we a good bite on it. No, there. we couldn't get a bite. The heads had a small gap in it. So let's see if the $300 cutters can conquer the tin sheet. We'll start with the small one. The they don't have the, I mean, they're not filed down to an edge, but they have a bit of an edge on them. All right, let's see. Can these cut? It's all, I, I got a bite, but I. <laughs> these cannot cut. Tin man, you are safe. You want to prevent burglaries? Make, make your, your house, house out of tin. Make, make your, your house, house out of sheet metal. metal. Okay, let's fold it in half and see if we can get a better it, bite here. It. Let her have it, buddy. <laughs> I don't even think these are, nope. they wouldn't be designed for something like that. These are. These want more. They want more to buy. They on want you. more girth. Standard bolts. We know the other one could cut through these very easily. Let's see how the bougie bolt cutters pair up against these. Do I, I just mean, slide that. It's, baby right, in it's there? right in the name. So. All right. Let's see if I can do it. Up. Oh, easy. Remember the nails. Yep. Let's try the nails. I'm gonna take some distance on this one. Simple. Easy, huh? Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> 
You're so funny, my fine friend. <laughs> the wire was pretty easy cut last time, but it gave us some trouble just because there was those onesies and twosies. The braids, yeah, the, the braids. braids got in the way. So let's see if this works out. Ooh. One, oh, one, one shot. One cut. One shot. One cut, all right. And these heavier, like uh, these heavy anchor points, yeah. that really does make a difference. It does give it a little bit more support. So boom, that's a good distinct difference, man. <laughs> yeah. All right, so maybe it is, you know, based off what you're paying for. Snappy. So that one was easy. I know the bike lock was super easy for these ones. I'm assuming that this is just gonna go straight through. Let's find out. That was nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that easy. It is Order that today. easy. See the number on your screen, call that, so you can order your own Blackhawk dynamic entry bolt cutters. Wait, let me- That was super easy, dude. Easy shit out of the way. Let's start trying to cut some of the chains and some of the material that gave us a very hard time with our standard hardware bolt cutters. So we will go to this extremely heavy duty semi-truck lock. <laughs> That's what I like to call it. <laughs> You got it. Oh, oh, we got it. I heard a crack. I heard a distinct crack. It made it through, yeah. but it didn't break it though. It didn't, didn't break it all. Try. And then pull this up. Yeah, went through. You want to try to break it a little? It <laughs> went through, man. That's good. All right, let's try. <laughs> You're like, don't make me work anymore. It's fine. I love this. <laughs> there it yeah. goes. Yeah. Nice, we got through, folks. And even looking at the head, they were starting to get a little bit of chips ah. in the head from breaking the heavier shit. Yeah. This one, solid. There are no chips, there are no dents. This one is just, there's a little bit of abrasion on the metal. Right, the so finish far, came off, yeah. This head is holding up very well. I wonder if it has to do with that cap 10 on it. We'll Let's find cut some more shit. I'm pumped. <laughs> I got my rhythm sticks here, my vigilante sticks. This is this is some good piping, man. It is. You know, we didn't try even... to cut these with the last one just because I knew for a fact I couldn't get my head on this tube. It's you way too thick. Wrap your head around it. I couldn't wrap my head around it. Yeah, it was a crazy concept. But I mean, we can try to tackle from the ends of these and uh, see how that goes. We get on the edge. Yeah, yeah, man. You got right. it in there. That's it. Did it cut? Yeah, it, well, yeah, it cut. It yeah, cut I mean, it definitely thing, warped huh? the metal. It definitely bit down. Like, if you had something that was out of this material that this can, thing could fit into, you could de you definitely yeah. do I mean, something. I, I think we, yeah, we just can't. Yeah, just there's can't no way you can get that. it. Yeah. But you see, that cut's pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, it, but this it, is just too thick. It would defeat it if it was out of this material, just not this shape. I mean, realistically, in the military, we carry multiple ways to breach obstacles. So if my mechanical breaching's not gonna work, I'm gonna go to that next level. Could be ballistic, but I wouldn't try to shoot this with a shotgun. I would definitely go straight to explosive for this and just blow it to high fucking hell with yeah. a charge. Get some distance. Yeah, but we know the limitations of our equipment before we go out. So tube, a little too thick for this head, but it definitely could cut if it was thinner. Let's try the bike lock. All right, man, this is the one that warped the cheaper bolt cutters. Yep. And uh, kind of molded them off their, their hinges, so. This one fit pretty well in there. All right, we'll try going the other way here. Okay, I can't even get a grip on this. Yeah. All right, let's try that. Oh, shit. that is strong. Oh man, and I am not seeing, I'm not seeing a whole anything. lot. It bit into it, but it did not. It didn't do anything. That thing is strong. Yeah. Ugh, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Oof, man. Oof. That's good, man. That's uh, what kind of bike lock is this? I want to get one. <laughs> Very sturdy. It stood the test of time. It did. <laughs> Firmly now planted my it just into your stuck in my plate carrier. Your magazine. <laughs> there you go. Oh man, both out of sturdy material. Absolutely. But Those man, this is this has got to be solid, man. It's got to be solid be. all the way through, you know. Like we said, you want your bike not to get stolen. Use this bike lock. <laughs> I mean, these bolt cutters definitely made a difference on a lot of these. I wonder if because the head was warped on the last one that you couldn't cut that chain. But I mean, this one cut it fairly easy. We yeah, got, we got leverage on it yeah. stuff, and stuff. And, but uh, yeah, this bike lock, did it didn't budge. It didn't budge at all. I mean, the grips are still intact. It's not that bulky compared to other ones, except for the maybe the tube handles here, but this head is solid. This head definitely makes the difference. Yeah. So, initial thoughts on this, I like it. I dig it. I think it's a great set of bolt cutters. Now, the weight, I would say, I guess the weight's maybe not too much of a problem. No, if I had to choose, I definitely want these ones, because I have more confidence with a wider range of materials with these ones than I do with the cheap. Ones, you know? 
talking about the difference between the cheap versus the expensive. Now, this one actually went above and beyond what the cheap version did, but the cheap version did all right until we started getting to those really it's difficult heavy. ones like the bike lock and that heavy chain, you know? Absolutely. And that's a, that's a vast difference in price it between is. the cheap and the expensive. A couple hundred dollars worth. I mean, not not for nothing. The Blackhawk ones, almost any job you can imagine, you know, that would require bolt cutters. Absolutely. And I mean, just a side-by-side -side comparison, the standard cheaper versions are much longer. They're about two inches to three inches longer than the Blackhawk, even though they're the same 24 inch. Looking at the heads, this drill just says 600 millimeter, but this one says cap 10. So I'm assuming that has to do with the durability of the head. But side-by-side -side comparison, these ones obviously have been designed better. These ones have been designed with war fighting in mind. These ones have been designed with mechanical breaching in mind. So as a civilian who really wants to get into, you know, the private military sector or the contracting sector and wants to get their hands on a pair of bolt cutters, I figure that these are going to be the better choice. The buy once, cry once type of bolt cutters. But for standard civilian application, you just want to cut a bike lock, man, because your kid forgot the key. Yeah. Go with the Harbor Freight. Don't spend the money on these. But if you actually want to do some serious breaching, Spend the money. That's what I think, at least. I think, uh, in far as the Black Hawk ones go, it's like you say, man. They're for a wider range of jobs that require bolt cutters, but the cheap ones, they work just fine, you know? And if you don't have that extra money to spend, I don't see why you would want to go for the March Best one. Yeah, just get yourself some spray paint. Spray paint them khaki. <laughs> yeah. And you're good to go. At least that's what we did in the military. Thanks for joining us, folks. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment letting us know what kind of products you would like us to try out on future episodes of War Wallet. Thank you for being here, ladies and gentlemen. This is Shipfire. And we dive in military culture. That doesn't make sense. We dive into it. It's there and we're diving into it. It's there and we're uh, You can do some serious work with those bobcats. Oh, yeah, baby. Punch okay. <laughs> yourself. Punch yourself. Yeah. Okay. Today on Shipfire. <laughs> yeah. Whole bunch of shit.